Yeah, it's a two for day. Two videos in one day. But there's a lot of trailers came out yesterday, so gotta make more videos. So like I said, a lot of trailers came out yesterday, and the one I want to talk about now is the trailer to the Zack Schneider cut of Justice League. The Wonder Woman trailer looked fun. I'm not really going to say much about that. I love the first movie, so I'm excited about that, but there's really nothing I wanted to say about that trailer. We got to see Christian Wiig as Cheetah. That was pretty cool. And then there was like a behind-the-scenes Suicide Squad thing, so I'm excited for that because I'm excited to see what James Gunn can do with that source material and what he can bring to the franchise. Because the first movie. Whew. Now before I talk about the trailer, I need to talk about my opinion on Justice League. And I really did not like Justice League at all. I thought it was a major disappointment considering that we're sort of supposed to compare it to the Avengers. And the Avengers movie was way better than Justice League. And just overall the DCU I thought was a mess at that point. And if you didn't hear about the production of Justice League, what happened was Zack Snyder is directing the movie. But his daughter tragically passed away. So during that time, he stepped down as director and Joss Whedon, who actually directed the first and second Avengers movie, decided to direct the rest of Justice League. And when I first heard that, I just assumed that most of the movie was shot and that he's just going to go off his action writer's script and just kind of fill in different shots and finish some sequences. Apparently, it's a completely different movie from actors, writers. They all said that the Schneider cut compared to the Joss Whedon cut completely different movies and from this trailer you kind of notice it because there's a lot of scenes they put in here i'm like that wasn't in the movie and there's a whole another fucking villain i don't get how that was even possible or how someone even approved of that and from what i've heard from the actors they said that the schneider cut's actually very good and it's like i said a completely different movie so i'm very curious to see how the schneider cut is and from what i've heard it's going on hbo max and it's going to be like four hours long but they're gonna release an hour at a time i hope they do it all at once because i think that'd be kind of dumb if it was like a weekly episode thing i wouldn't mind watching a four hour justice league movie just sitting down and doing it but like i said the trailer there's a bunch of different scenes that we didn't get in the movie that looks like a bunch of important shit's going down and honestly i don't know if it's because the song like hallelujah is just kind of a good song or whatever but the trailer just the tone of it seemed like the movie was actually gonna be deeper than what we got because like i said the first version of justice league not very good and I didn't like the tone they're going for because DC you want to go more the darker tone and it might be because Joss Whedon took over but that was the first movie I was like they're going for more of a Marvel tone and I don't really like that as much as all the MCU but I want DC to be different. I do think Zack Snyder is a good director. I actually love Watchmen. I think that's a very underrated movie. No one talks about Watchmen at all. The series on HBO is great too. I don't think it had anything to do with that but just saying, the movie that came out in 2009, amazing. I also love 300. And I think Man of Steel's fine. I think it's fun. Didn't really like Dawn of Justice, particularly because of the second act. I thought the first act was great. It's just baffling to me that this movie apparently is so different. I didn't know how that's even possible. Like, how that could happen in a production. I understand they completely switched directors. I get that. But you would think if they have a script written out and all of this stuff already done, that, you know, this new cut wouldn't have a completely new villain completely new subplot looks like new characters looks like completely new shit like there's a black suit superman like why was that cut out of the original cut it seems like that should have been important so i love joss whedon for the two avengers movies because i do love age of ultron even though a lot of people don't like it for some reason and i obviously love the first avengers movie but i don't think he did a very good job with justice league i'm happy zack snyder is finally getting his shot to, you know, give his version of this movie that he wanted people to see. Because, you know, family tragedy, and also, just as a director, he probably wasn't happy with what how Justice League turned out, because, like, this is not what I made at all. So I'm glad he's getting that chance. And I also heard with Donna Justice, the extended version, that is released on HBO, I think, or wherever, that's, like, over three hours long. I heard it's amazing. I heard it's actually really good, so maybe I'll check that out, and maybe I'll appreciate the movie more. But I'm excited to see this Schneider cut. It's getting a lot of hype. I know this has been talked about ever since the first movie came out, so I'm excited to actually see it now. I'm, I'm surprised the studio is actually doing this, but they're probably going to make a lot of money. That's probably why they're doing it. But yeah, the trailer was interesting. There's obviously scenes from the original Justice League still in there, but I was very, very surprised to see all these new scenes and sequences and then a completely new villain. So, sounds like we're in a completely new Justice League movie, and I'm curious to see how this will shape up years after this is released and what people will think looking back at 
Josh Whedon's Justice League, and Zack Snyder's. Yeah, coming out on HBO Max 2021. Hope it is released all at once. I don't want it to be like an episodic thing. I think it would be dumb. I'd rather just watch the four-hour cut, start to finish, just get into it. But yeah, go check out that trailer if you haven't and if you've seen Justice League because you're going to be surprised. There's a lot of shit in there that... I don't even know how they could just cut out the movie. So the new Zack Schneider Justice League trailer. Let me know what you guys thought of it if you've seen it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more David Dave's takes.